Okay, and all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, the bondage of the elders of GMS. Salutations to all the Akim out there pushing this truth. And um, name of this lesson is called If It Wasn't for Yahweh Shai. Alright. Because uh, you got niggas, you know, amongst these other camps, like the Sakari clique. Alright, that they even a camp, they're a fucking clique of fucking goons. Alright. But uh, basically, talking about you don't have to worship Yahweh Shai and all that other bullshit, which is plenty of scriptures where it say people worship Yahweh Shai. But the topic of this video, you know, name of the lesson is called If It Wasn't For Yahweh Shai. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, we wouldn't even have this knowledge that we have, all right? So, uh, starting with Revelations 1 and 5. Uh, I mean, 5 and 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat down on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. A strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book to loose the seals thereof. No man in heaven nor on earth. So, when no man in heaven, no man in earth, all right, to even, that was even worthy to even open the Bible, all right? That's the book it's talking about, the Bible, all right? No man in heaven nor on earth, neither neither on the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereupon. Yeah, because once upon a time, you know, especially when we uh, went into to captivity, you know, nobody really understand the scriptures, man, all right? So, once once time passed, when, when it was time for these things to uh be be revealed, the Lord used who? Yahweh Shai. You know, to 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 uh basically reveal the things of the Bible, you know. This is uh verse four. And I weep much because no man was found worthy to open a book. See, Moses wasn't open he I mean Moses wasn't worthy to open a book. Uh Elijah wasn't worthy to open a book. King David wasn't worthy to open a book. None of these great men that you read about the Bible, you read, read about in the Bible, was worthy to open a book. You know, only one that was only able to, what was what was worthy to 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 open the book was who? Yahweh Shai. We're about to get into that. But now weak much because no man was found worthy to open and read the book, neither to look thereupon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. All right. So the only person that was worthy to open the book is who? Yeah, I was shot, man. All right. So this knowledge that we got basically came from who? Yeah, I was shot. All right. Because he was the only one. He he did all the knowledge that each brother have. Yeah, I was shot. Gave each brother his portion, man. All right, you had to go from who Yahweh to Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is what the mediator, man. All right, and to prove it, let's go to Revelations. All right, uh, third chapter, let's go to the third chapter. All right. Alright, this Revelations uh three and twenty. Alright. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come to him and sup with him and he with me. Now what now what does it mean to sup with him? Alright. The word sup comes from the word what? Supper. Alright. So let's click on that real quick. Let's click on that word sup. All right. All right. Sup, which means what? To sup, to dine, that is, take, principal, or evening meal. All right. But is it actually talking about food? No, man. It's not talking about food. Matter of fact, let me click on this right here. It says supper, especially a formal meal, a meal usually held at the evening. 
used as Messiah's feet symbolizing salvation in the kingdom, food taken and eaten. All right, because that's deep right there. Used as Messiah's feet symbolizing salvation. All right, it tells you in the scripture, uh, uh, stick stick to the doctrine that is able to you know save your soul. All right, but it it's not it's talking about what spiritual food, man. All right, yeah, so let's go to. Uh, we're gonna fo focus on sup. Uh, one second, Isaiah 55 and 1. All right, hey, everyone that thirsts of come. Ye, Isaiah 55 and 1, everyone that thirsts, so come ye to the waters. He that have money, come ye buy, eat. Ye, come buy wine, wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore, do you spend your money for that which is not bread? And and labor for that which, which satisfied not? Hearken unto me diligently. Unto me eat that eat ye that which is good, let your soul delight of in its fatness. Alright? So we know right there it's not what? It's not talking about actual bread. To prove that, let's go we're gonna go to another scripture. In the book of Sirach. Sirach yeah. One second, uh, go right there and go to my other app. Mm. It's like y'all should have been had this up, but. Let's go to Sirach. Let's see what that, that bread is that, and that water, man. This is a rock uh, 15 and 3. All right. That's verse 3. All right. With, it's a rock 15 and 3. With bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him water of wisdom to drink. All right. So we understand now what was written in Revelations. 3 and 20 it was actually talking about the wisdom and knowledge in the scriptures when it say Yahweh Shadow is what gonna sup uh sup sup so like you sup with you it was talking about what him what give you the proper understanding and the wisdom of the scriptures man all right all right so let's go back to where we left off at all right uh Go to Luke 24. Luke 24 and 44. Luke 24 and 44, and he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, and all these things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. This is the point right here. And then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. So Yahweh, he the ones that opens your mind to the scriptures, man. So when somebody say Yahweh, is not worthy to be worshipped, man, they have no understanding, because if it weren't for him, we wouldn't even have the knowledge and the understanding of the scriptures, man, you know, he the one who, he the one that, what, loosened the seals, man, if it wasn't for Yahweh Shah, we wouldn't have the breakdowns or even an understanding of these scriptures, man, we still believe, 
uh, uh, that old Christian doctrine that was taught to us, you know. And we came over here on slave ships, man, you know. I have a couple more scriptures. Bear with me one second. All right. Uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. Now thanks be unto the Most High, which causeth of us to trump in Hamashiach, or Yahawashah, which maketh us the savior, the savior of his knowledge by us in every place. All right, for we are unto the Most High. Let me read that over again. <laughs> now, thanks be unto the Most High, which always, they say always, causes us to trump in Hamashiach. So, he's supposed to always trump. So, like, yeah, it went off. I think. Made a mistake and pressed the camera wrong button. Now, thanks be unto the Most High, which always causes us to trump in Hamashiach. All right, which always, all right. This is always, man. The Lord calls us to trump in Hamashiach, man. If it says, and make of manifest what the Savior of His knowledge by us in every place. But we are unto most, unto, we we are unto the Most High, sweet Savior of Hamashiach, and them that are saved. See, so it's all through the Lord that what we even receive this knowledge, man. And he made a point that what, which we always, which always calls of us to trump and, and who? Yeah, was shot, man. All right, now, uh, let's go in Corinthians 4 and 6. Uh, for the most, for the most high commanded the light to shine in the darkness. He hath shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of the most high in his face. It's in the face of Yahweh Shah, all right? So, the only reason we got this knowledge is who? Yahweh Shah, all right? Read that over again. For who who commanded the light to shine? Damn. Okay, thank you. Shalaki, Aki. For who he have commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined into our hearts? What's our hearts? Our mind. Basically, what? To open our mind. All right, have shit. Oh, uh, lucky. Right, have shine in our hearts, which is what I mean, to give the light of knowledge of glory of the Most High, and what in the face of the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. All right, so only way you can even get this knowledge is through who Yahweh Shah, man, because the Lord gave him the knowledge, man. That's the only way you can even get the knowledge, man. Better yet, you know, our, our salvation is, is, is through Yahweh Shah, you know. So with that, you know, I'm going to say, you know, all praise to Yahweh Shah, the wildness of the elders and Elgin GMS, salutations. And, um, you know, hope you brothers got edified. Shalom.